Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Django models inside of a standalone script. So by default, Django is supposed to be used as a web app, but sometimes you wanna use parts of your Django app in a standalone script. So the example that I'm going to use today is basically a script that will manipulate your models in some way. So you insert some data into the database or read it, which is a common use case for a standalone script. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an app here. So I've already created the project. I called it standalone example, and I'll just call the actual app example. So I'll run manage.py and I'll create example. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that example to the apps here so I can create the model. So example, and I also want to migrate everything to create the database before I actually create my model. So I'll go to example here and models and I'll create my own model. So we'll call this um, person models.model and this model doesn't actually do anything. It's just an example. So the only field that I'll have in here is a char field. So models char field and we'll say the max length is 100. Okay, so pretty simple. And now I'll make the migration for that. And I didn't spell that right. Make migrations. And then I'll migrate that one model that I created. Okay, so in my database here, db.sqlite3, I should have a table called example underscore person or something like that. And oh, I can go ahead and look right now. So tables, yeah, so example underscore person, that's exactly what I have. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to create a standalone script to create a new person. So imagine that this script does more than simply creating a person. You know, I go into the database, I look for things, and if certain things are in the database, I'll create uh, new records in the database and so on. And it's based off some external process that runs daily. But this isn't run inside of my web app. It just shares some of the components of my web app. So instead of starting up a web server just to add some information in there, even though I'm not actually running a web app, I can create a standalone script. So I'm going to put this in the same directory as my manage.py, and we'll call this uh, script.py. And it just went into the wrong directory. So let me put it in the correct place. And we see it's on the same level as manage.py. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that model and just create a new one in the database. So from example, dot models import person then what I'm going to do is create a new person so new person equals person and this person's name is going to be Anthony and I'll simply call new person dot save so I'm sure you're familiar with Django models already so this is very straightforward I'm just creating a new record in the database and saving it through the model here so I'm going to try running the script and we'll see what happens so Python script dot pi and it gives me an error. So it's talking about the environment variable Django settings module um, basically isn't defined. And then also I need to call configure before accessing the settings. So there are two parts to that. The first is I need an environment variable called Django settings module. So if I go to my project here and go into wsgi.py, this actually has an example of what I need. So I'll just copy this. So this Django settings module environment variable, and it's set to the settings file in my project. So standalone example is the project or the app in my project. And then dot settings is the module, which is this settings file right here, which has all of these settings for my web app. So when you run your web app, this gets add it automatically so the web app knows what all your settings are. But when you're running a standalone script, uh, this doesn't get imported automatically. So there are two approaches that I can use. I can do this directly in the file. So set the environment variable, Django settings module, 
uh, standalone example.settings, or I could set the environment variable through the typical process here uh, on the command line. So export Django settings module and then standalone example.settings. So depending on your machine, I've noticed that this doesn't always work in the code, but the direct setting of the environment variable should always work. So it depends on what server you're using or what computer you're using, but we'll see if this works here. So to use this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it above everything else. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I need to configure all this before I actually start using anything from Django. So this model comes from my Django app, so I can't use it until I've uh, dealt with the settings. So that's why I have it up here. I could also put it in an if name block and then put this stuff in a function and call the function, but just to keep things very simple, I'm going to uh, just put everything in the order that it's called. So I need to import OS and set the settings module. And then after that, I need to run Django.setup. So I need to import Django. And then I'm going to run Django.setup. So this basically takes all the settings and makes them available for anything that follows. So in this particular case, uh, examples.model and then person, this is from the Django app. I can now use these after I've run Django.setup. So let's try this now, see if it works. And I didn't get any errors, so that's always good. So to confirm that this actually worked, we want to go into the database and see if I have a person named Anthony in there. So I'll go into the database and I'll look at the tables, select star from example person. And I see Anthony is the one record in the table. If I change the name and run the script again, no errors again. And then I'll go back to the database select star from example underscore person. And we see Brittany is now the second record in the table. So obviously this is a very, very simple example, but as you can see, all you need to do are these two things. Just set the environment variable and then call Django.setup. And then you can use things from Django in a standalone script. And just make sure you put that script on the same level as manage. Otherwise, it's going to be a little weird with the imports. But if you put it outside of your Django apps, you should be okay. So that's it for this video. That's all I want to show you, I hope that helps because it took me a while to figure it out the first time I wanted to run a standalone script using components from my Django app. So now you should be able to do it too. And if you want to check out more that I have on Django, you can go to my website, prettyprinted.com. I have a few courses on Django. I have the Understanding Django course, Django Database Essentials, and Intro to Django. Uh, the last two are free courses. The first is a premium course. So check out the free courses first to see if you like them. And if you do, you may want to consider joining the other course. And I have courses on Flask as well, and I'll be adding more courses all the time. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I cover in the video, you can leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.